listen up one wheel GT owners Jeff Adair shreds here welcome back to another video this one is going to be going out to all the one wheel GT owners there is a problem and I need to tell you about it and we are going to fix it this is about the GT motor harness plug retainer why do I need to listen if I have a one wheel GT well I've purchased four one wheel GTs in the past year and I see a consistent flaw in all of them. The GT motor connector retainer ring. Yup, it's a little plastic circle that holds your motor plug cable into the back of the controller. It's a little circle with two teeth on it. The problem is these two little teeth break off the second or third time you take them out usually, okay? Some people have no problems, some people have issues. I've been one of those people with issues. So this will actually save your motor plug from coming out. And on top of that, if you have no teeth in that little ring, this will keep your motor plug in. So there's no need to, I mean, Future Motion knows it's a problem. They sell it on their website. That's why it's there because those little teeth break off that thing and you have to replace it. Well, look at here. Instead of replacing that so often, just get this and it's a one-time fix. Let's go. Tech rails, baby. This keeps your motor plug dialed in. If you're shredding a one wheel GT, you need this. Link is in the description where to find it. You can get this from Tech Rails and we carry these as well at onewheelparts.com. Both links are in the description. Little circle thing that holds the cord into the controller. You know that little locking mechanism? Um, the two little teeth on that broke off when this thing came out that's why you're gonna get this guy you take the gt toolkit from onewheelparts.com you take off one rail okay once the rails off this goes on with no tools you just slip it right in you just slip it right into these little two little grooves and it just sits there it's and it's light it's dude i think this weighs nothing it, it literally weighs nothing this has been in my board for like four months looking great let me add a little bit. There was a time when I was riding deep into the woods and I hit, I, I had like a wreck, I think. And I had the red light of death. I had to walk like three miles to my car because I didn't have this in. This happens to stock rails and aftermarket rails. This can keep your motor cable from coming out, breaking the plastic teeth. And this also can save your retainer if you don't have plastic teeth in it. I've relied on this plenty of times when I have no teeth in my retainer clip and I literally have this holding it in. It's secure and dude, this is this should just come on the GT to be honest. But yeah, here's some footage of me putting it on. It's very simple. Let's get it. All right, so once you get all the hardware out, all you do is you take the rail off just the side where the charger port is. And then check this out. Just like I said, no tools needed. This little spot is gonna go right in front of this. And these little slots are gonna go right into this groove. See how nice that is? Matthew Shoemaker is a genius. And so this little clip is going to hold that part in and it's gonna lock in like this. Can you see that? And voila. That motor cable is locked. If that's the video, please leave a like and a comment, subscribe, and let's get it. Hey, real quick guys, I wanted to show you this really cool. Uh, Jeff sent this to me, he's like, to dad, from little Jeff, must read. Since I'm going to work tomorrow, he's like, yo, one wheel parts, two millimeter hex, black grip, purple sensor cover. He's got the, the one wheel drum. What a cool dude. He just made me a little card. To, uh, to request some new grip for his, for his board, you know? 